India and Japan had agreed to cooperate on the transfer of the Unicorn system during a 2 plus 2 meeting held in Tokyo last year, and in a significant development, India and Japan have now signed a memorandum of cooperation for collaboration between India's DRDO and Japan's Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency, for the development of Unicorn stealth naval antennas, that will be installed on future destroyers of the Indian Navy. The Unicorn houses numerous antennas in a horn-shaped structure, thus reducing the ship's radar cross-section and increasing stealth capability. India's position to negotiate for the development of a high-thrust engine for the AMCA Mark II program has strengthened, after securing an 80% transfer of technology agreement for the General Electric F-414 engines. Indian authorities are now determined to push for intellectual property rights and 90% transfer of technology of the engine's value in discussions with three engine manufacturers. Rolls-Royce has already committed to provide complete transfer of technology and intellectual property rights, without any restrictions on engine exports, and now Safran has also come up with the same offer at the Paris Air Show 2023, while General Electric has promised additional transfer of technology as the F-414 program progresses. A retired senior scientist and joint director of the DRDO has said, that the Indian Air Force Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Aeronautical Development Agency are prepared with contingency plans, if the US denies access to General Electric engines for the AMCA program in the future. Discussions have revolved around the possibility of developing a new improved cavalry engine known as the Cavalry 2 engine, that will have the potential to generate thrust of up to 95 kN, which could meet requirements of the Tejas Mark II, and could also be considered for the twin engine AMCA if access to General Electric engines is denied. The Indian Air Force has renewed its efforts to secure a wet lease agreement for one Airbus A330 refueling tanker from France, to meet the growing demand for air-to-air -air refueling training for various Indian fighter jets including the Rafale Su-30 Jaguar strike aircraft and Tejas. The Air Force is currently facing challenges in conducting a minimum of 100 hours of monthly training due to the low serviceability of the IL-78-based air tankers. The wet lease agreement would allow the Air Force to utilize the Airbus A330 tanker for a specific period to provide necessary training, until the HAL Israel Aerospace Industries converted six Boeing 767 tankers are available from 2027 onwards. As India is all set to kick off the acquisition process of 31 MQ-9B drones next month, with local production and establishment of full maintenance repair and overhaul hub in India, the former Defence Secretary has said, that the Indian MRO hub will provide support throughout the entire life cycle of these drones, and apart for 31 Indian drones, several other countries using Predator drones are likely to come to India for maintenance and overhauling, that includes UK, France, Italy, Japan, Australia and Spain.